Greetings everyone. Hey, hi guys. Thanks for joining me. This is the May 2017 Collective Conscious Global Predictions Series using the Psy Cards. That is P-S-Y Psy Cards. These cards are very connected to Collective Conscious Energies. They were designed under the um, archetype principles and theories of Carl Jung. So, let's shuffle and see what's in store. Given the tumultuous energies that are on the planet at the moment and this fractious thought of a potential war of some kind with North Korea, let's see what turns up for May. Okay. Peace. The wheel. The tower. Union, the message, and the moon. Okay, I'll just move my camera back a little bit. So I utilize these cards in a different format than the traditional um, understanding of them when I'm doing this particular reading. It's, it's a specific set or energy I have devised by myself that seems to be fairly accurate for the cards. So in essence they are turned into a different meaning than what is depicted on the cards. So the very first card we see that has come out is the Peace card. And when it comes out I usually say it is a reference that there is less peace than usual on the planet. So it would appear as we move into May that we are going to be heading into an unpeaceful state. So less peace or lack of peace would indicate more warring energies or more tensions or disharmony on the planet. And that was the first card out. So it wanted to um, get its attention first off. So it's not a good omen and it's not a good start for the month. The other thing that we see there in the Peace card is that beautiful Mandela window at the end of what would probably appear to be uh, a church, possibly, and the sun shining onto it very strongly. Now, I have often come to understand that uh, this card can also represent the energies of the sun. So sometimes this is when we see extra uh, solar activity, such as um, we can get increased aurora, which we have just had in April. We've had some really strong aurora events. We can see increased CMEs or um, solar blasts from the sun as well. There could also be something about the, uh, the sun's transit or other planets that are transitioning it, or other um, things like sun diving comets things along those lines, but definitely related to the sun's energy. And often when the sun puts out increased um, um, bombardment of particles towards us, it can affect both weather, so we can get increased severe weather patterns here on Earth. We can also see an increase in volcanic activity as well as quake-related activity. Now, quite a few of these cards indicate weather issues and quake issues as well. So moving on to the wheel. The wheel is often about timing and events and cyclical events in life. So patterns that are moving on or repeating patterns or something that is a slow turning event or a cycle but that it's constantly evolving. So this would suggest that there is something galactically evolving and it's a turning event and it's it's still occurring and still evolving literally. It can sometimes represent time itself one way or another as well. It can also represent big wheels um, so machinery or equipment that has big wheels, such as transportation, things like trains, trucks, buses, uh, things like that. Um, it can also represent flowing, rapid flowing water. And we see that in this card, and this card, and this one here, and these two both represent the sea and also flowing water. So May could be a very watery month one way or another. So there could be events that either pertain to severe weather events such as massive storm cells or heavy intense rain, 
flooding, mudslides, avalanches, things along those lines, or something to do with the sea, because we have two of these cards down here that are representing the sea. So we could see quake-related activity in the sea, or volcanic activity, or uh, possible tsunami activity, as well as just things happening in our sea, such as warring activity. Let's go to the tower. I often think of that building, it pertains to, say, buildings that we might find in places like Europe, and often in places like Italy. It's a very old European or well really yeah European type looking castle so sometimes Italy is implicated when this card comes out and it sometimes involves their buildings in particular I've also noticed that this house or building or castle is up on a high plateau so I sometimes think of houses that are built around a moat and so we have water again with the synergy of this card and sometimes this can suggest flooding in areas through or around Europe and something to do with the damage to those type of old buildings. We come to the next card and it's the Union card. I have pretty much fundamentally managed to get this energy of this card as being very intense water related, storm related issues. So big storm cells that create and form into a massive turbulent energy display of water being dropped and then the water forms into torrents like overflowing rivers um, where you can see inland tsunamis or rivers um, encroaching beyond their normal boundaries and flooding townships and things like that. This is also symbolic of mudslides, big, vol uh, big hill mudslides, volcanic eruptions and um, avalanches sometimes or and s snow avalanches. We come to the message card and we see there a whole bunch of messy things in a net which appears to be a net that might be sitting on a boat. So there's a fish, there's a note in a bottle, there's some other detrius. So it's kind of like a really messed up looking sea. So you think of times when this might have happened and it takes me back to the Japanese tsunami um, when everything got messed up and we, f we felt that the ocean being combobulated or discombobulated. So the message card to me often refers to issues with the sea and sometimes with boats as well. So boats in the sea. Now Trump has just sent a whole or deployed a whole lot of naval vessels to around the area of North Korea. So something may happen there. I actually had a vision of um, the big boat, the big carrier boat, being damaged by a missile that came up from under the sea. So whether or not this could be the, the start of um, tumultuous energy against North Korea and America, we will have to wait and see how that plays out. This card can represent other things, it's not just necessarily that one issue. But at the moment I guess a lot of eyes are focused on that, seeing if those energies actually you know, force themselves into action in any other way. So we come to the next card and we see the moon and we're back in the sea again and we also have this um, moon up in the sky. This can relate to times when we see big activity around the full moon, also things like the super moon and I believe we have a super moon right now. We're on the cusp of our first super moon um, of the year I think and the supermoons often create extra energy with our oceans. So that can be increased tides, things like king tides, um, which often encroach on land where we don't want them to be. We also see that this can be to do with planetary alignment, so unusual planetary configuration that is kind of negative or glitchy can also be an issue when this moon card is around. It's also about looking at the skies, at what is up there, technologically wise, also the um, perhaps putting into space new rockets or satellites, 
information like that and events like that. Also things that traverse our skies, so possibly something that comes between us and the moon, such as a new asteroid, or comets that fly by that we can see that might be new or um, visible for us as well. The other thing about the moon card and the sea, we can we come back to, again to the representation of an unstable or very actively energised sea. So things like movement, whether it be quake related or storm related, um, events such as those. So a very active bunch of cards, but I think as we move further and further into the global uh, climate change issue, we will not ever retreat back now to the stability we used to have in the 40s, 50s and 60s and 70s. Our Earth is very much in a changing dynamic mode and we are having to learn to live with that and understand how best to readjust ourselves as a civilization so that we can still thrive on the planet under these changing conditions and ever so more turbulent conditions, both geographically and also within our own human civilization as well. So there we are guys, we'll keep an eye out on um, what actually happens for the month, but as I say, very active, plenty of water, I mean, so many cards are talking about water, so there's definitely something going on in our oceans, and um, you know, kind of, the moon can also suggest a hidden agenda as well. Oh, and one other thing, the message card can often be about a message that is being received, and yet unfolded to us all and yet unknown to the person who receives the message as well. So it's often about communication and indicating something that will be enacted upon. So yeah, thanks for joining me and subbing and liking and thanks for leaving your comments and any suggestions you have about the feeling and the energy of the cards as well. Okay everyone, have a safe and happy May. Namaste.